Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing good today. So what are we gonna be doing today is adding a PayPal button in our landing page. There's different ways to do this. Uh, usually you can just uh, use an integration and that'll be the easiest way. But if for some reason the landing page hosting company that you use, it doesn't have this uh, integration, uh, you, can, you can do it in a different way. Uh, it's still going to work the same way and I actually prefer doing it this way just because you can set up the product or service before you even add it to your landing page. So the main thing you want to do here first is logging into your PayPal account. Okay. And then you're going to go in this option, which is called pay and get pay. And then you're going to go on the option of accept payments. Okay. So you have a few options, request money, PayPal checkout, subscriptions, and other stuff, right? And then you have PayPal buttons. So you can do either PayPal checkout or PayPal buttons. So we're gonna open one, and then we're gonna open the other one, and then we're gonna see both of them, okay? So this one you can do like how to add just a button, but if you wanna actually offer a checkout experience, then you can do this one, okay? Then you're gonna scroll and in PayPal is gonna show you a few ways on how you can add the checkout, which is gonna look something like this, right? So that's the first option you have. Then you have the standard integration that's gonna look more like this. And then you have the advanced integration. But on this one, I believe you have to apply. So for now, we're just gonna use one of these ones right here, okay? So, then you have this one right here, which is just adding a button. And when you add a button, it's pretty much gonna show the price that you're gonna about to pay, and that's it. It's not gonna show uh, something detailed like this one right here, okay? So we can start with this one. So the first thing, you can say, okay, I want a smart button, and it explains you here what is this for, right? So you wanna sell on social media, or you just wanna have a buy now button, or a, add to cart button, right? So if you're using like uh, recurring payments, right? Like if you have a membership or you're like have some type of service that requires a person to pay you or something monthly, then you wanna do something like, uh, you know, this side right here. And you can change the name if you want to, but uh, for now we're just gonna use the buy now button since it's the most popular. So once you click on it, it's gonna take you to this part, okay? And here you can name the button, okay? So in this case, we're gonna say, um, we're gonna name it membership. Uh, I'm gonna use one of my pages that I'm working on. So it's a journal um, service. And then this is optional as it says right here. So you don't have to add it but it's, uh, it can be useful if you start adding multiple products. So that's how you can keep track of it. Then I'm gonna say it's gonna be, a uh, sorry. So going back again. And, okay. So it was a journal and then um, service, okay. The ID, like I say, is something optional, but you can add it if you're adding multiple products so you can have a better tracking of what you're doing. Uh, on this one, I'm planning to charge $90, right? Here I can select the type of button, right? And as you do it, it's gonna show you, you know, if you have multiple different products, uh, if you wanna do a drop down menu, right? And then if you wanna add a text field, like for example, I say, uh, journal service and then just click done and it's gonna add it up here so you can customize it then uh, if you have some shipping you can add it here and then if you want to add taxes you can add it right here and then uh, you can select how do you want to use this right so you want to use a secure uh, merchant account ID if you have one or you can use your primary email address. Now, what I would recommend is to use the first one because it's more secure. When the moment that somebody knows about which email is linked to your PayPal, 
uh, it can be something that somebody could hack. So you never want to show uh, what email you're using for your PayPal account. So I will use merchant account ID because it's safer. Okay. Now we're going to go to the next step, which is, you know, save button at PayPal and it explains you here, right? So you can continually reading these steps because there's things that are going to apply for you. And then there are things that are not going to apply uh, for your business. Okay. So this one was, uh, I'm just going to keep it as safe, but if you want to track your inventory, uh, profit and losses, you can select one of this. So we're going to leave it there and then we're going to go to uh, more advanced uh, features. And this is also optional. Okay. You can come here and you can, you know, let your customers change order qual uh, quantities, right? So for example, in this product that I'm creating right now is only one. So that doesn't apply to me. So that's why I just leave it there. Okay. But like I said, you can come and select the options that, uh, you know, best works for you. And then uh, on this part where it says, do you need customer shipping address? Uh, that's if you're shipping some type of product in this button that I'm creating, because it's a digital product, I don't need them to do that. So then it says, take customers to this URL, uh, URL when they cancel their checkout. Okay. So here, for example, you can, you know, uh, try to save it by creating a page that can be like, Hey, don't leave yet. If you purchase today, get this additional 20% or something like that. Right. And then here, take customers to this URL when you finish your checkout. So this is very important. And this is where you're going to, you know, you add your uh, thank you page or where they're going to be able to download a product. In this case, like the one I'm doing because it's a digital product or you're going to give them a secret link where they can go in, you know, create an account. Uh, it's totally up to you. Uh, this one is very important because you want after they click complete the payment PayPal is going to send them to this URL. So this can be built inside your landing page. If you have your uh, product page and then you have your thank you page, this is where your thank you page is going to go. So it's very important. Okay. Now we're just going to create a uh, create button. And there you go. Okay. So now we have this code right here. So once you select the code, okay, we're going to go now to our landing page, right? Okay. So here on the landing page, uh, let's say I want to add the button right here, right? Or I want to add it somewhere after this. Okay. So we're going to add a, we can do pricing, say I use this one and let's say instead of this button, I'm going to do an HTML code or embedded code. Okay. I click on this and then I'm going to paste that code that I got from PayPal, which is this one right here. Okay. I'm going to copy this code. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to paste it. Okay. And I'm going to click save. Okay. Right now you can see it, but if we go here and I publish, publish it, then we can go to the page and we're going to scroll down and there's our button right there. Okay. So as you can see, you can also arrange it. You know, it just looks kind of weird because I just literally uh, put it really quick. I didn't take the time to actually make sure everything is even, but you're going to take your time to, to create that. Okay. So then when I click buy now, it's going to take me to PayPal checkout. Right. And then once I log in into my account, it's going to tell me, okay, it's $90. Once the payment goes through, it's going to take them to the success page that I told you about earlier. Okay. So that's one way to do a PayPal uh, button in your landing page without using a, you know, an integration. Okay. So if you have questions regarding this, let me know. 
but now we're gonna go on to the next one I'm gonna use the next option which is gonna be one of these two okay so let's just use this one because it just says quick right so we're gonna start a uh, setup and then it's gonna show you what you want it to look like okay you want it to be vertical horizontal or you want you want to use like a rectangle so you're gonna be able to do this you can also select the amount the type of currency that you're doing and then once you're doing this and you like everything and then you can do checkout okay then you can come here and copy the code once you copy the code again you're gonna go back to your landing page and we're gonna add another button and then in that button you're gonna see the difference between the first one that we created and this one okay so instead of this button I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna add an embedded code okay and then here I'm just gonna paste it okay see how the code looks a little different than the other one we're just gonna click save it's gonna see this one see this one is shorter because it's just for one button this one has a little bit more uh, customization on it and then just gotta click publish and then we're gonna view the, the page and now you see what a big difference right so on this one you're offering also uh, credit right so that's something that PayPal offers uh, right now I think it's free um, free six months or something like that uh, if you qualify for uh, anything about ninety dollars okay uh, so you can do different things uh, with PayPal but that's the best easiest way to add any button to your landing page but don't forget that when you create your your landing page you also gotta have another page that it's gonna have the instructions either for downloading a product if it's digital or you're gonna have some type of information regarding what's gonna happen you know after they bought the product okay and then uh, PayPal also gonna send the user an email with an invoice number and details on their account so you don't have to worry about that part but uh, you definitely have to make sure you have something regarding the thank you page hopefully this helped you and if you guys have questions uh, let me know okay